All right, so I'm going to ride the car right now. Everyone's favorite regalia. <laughs> Anybody else excited for the next time our car breaks down? <laughs> really that I am. <laughs> yep, I really am. So I don't know, for those of you who've gone to our booth and played, like got to the car, uh, the know, manual driving, we've actually improved it in the latest build. Fist. So as you can see, Hans is driving oh, like a maniac on the it, other side of the road. Trips over with. So the driving is not on rails, it's pretty uh, free. Uh, you can actually crash into things and there's structural damage that you can do to the car. Um, Haas drives like that in real life, by the way. <laughs> but he doesn't have a license. So. <laughs> yeah, I better not drive. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 safe driving. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, why don't we put on a little music? Let's see what's on the Okay, the let's do this. <laughs> oh, right off the bat, uh, I don't know if you guys watched our E3 trailer, uh, but uh, the track that was provided by Afrojack, called Braver, is in the car stereo, so you could uh, jam to it as we head to our destination. Uh, but I'm going to ask uh, Tabby here where we should go. So, uh, you know, when the main game, when the game comes out, you guys are going to want to play the story. We don't want to reveal any too much. So we're going to show you something off the beaten path that you guys may or may not uh, know if you weren't here. So. So, the game start to the game is a little close to the game, but it's a big dungeon. And uh, this is actually a very, very early part of the game, uh, but it's actually a pretty uh, dangerous place that Haas is about to take us to. Haas? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, we're going to go to the Baluv Mines. The Baluv Mines, okay. Yes. We're going off road, it seems. Yep. Whenever there's a road, you can drive. And so, this is not main, part of the main quest. So, yep. It's going to get down. Kubrick. Huh? Kubrick. Oh, Kubrick. Hold on. So there's a lot of these uh, side paths that you can take uh. in the car. <laughs> <laughs> if you actually so, pick up a lot of speed and slam on the brakes, there's a lot of whiplash that your uh, buddies in the back get flown to the front seat. So everyone out there, wear your seatbelts. These guys don't. Don't follow there. their attention. Just like that. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> the physics in this game are uh, top notch. All right, so I'm going to park here because that's in front of hey, mine. Everybody, All right. Um, So again, this is not part of the main story. You can you come here anytime. So, I know. Sakki no chiten wa game no start chiten da kara mecha mecha chikai toko ni aru desho. Yeah. So when we picked up the car, that was pretty much the beginning of the game. So this is really close to the very uh, beginning of your adventure. Da kero koko honto wa ne sugu ni kichai ikenai toko nande. But it's probably not a place you want to go in the very beginning. So let so let kore kara chotto minna de mite miyo. So we'll see how Haas does in there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> So we're traveling on foot now, making our way up. Yep. Keep your distance or die. <laughs> Very clear directions. And we're still going in. Those, uh, hmm. those pipes up there, hot to the right? Can we go up there? Is it possible? Well, I can try, yeah. So, let's see. No way, no. Yosh. Uh, You're gonna make it? You're gonna make it? Yeah. Oh, okay. all right. So, <laughs> it's I just want to show off. Okay. So this is not the way. Haz is trying to uh, eat up time before going into the mines, <laughs> uh, but you could see this vast world. You could go everywhere. Yep, uh, as far as uh, the eye can see. But for now, Haz, turn around. Come on. Okay, all right. Uh, we're really going in, huh? We are. Okay. <laughs> yep, you can hear that. You <laughs> took so, you know, we just showed you the beautiful landscape of this game. And outside, it's beautiful. There's a lot of different various landscapes, but when you go into the dungeon, it gets really different. So there's a stark contrast between the Curiosity outside Curiosity may and bring you to the door, but no further. So that NPC is obviously scared to go in, wow. but we're not going to be scared. That might be the right oldest house? elevator I've ever seen. Okay, can I, can I just check my level? Uh, okay. Alright. Why are you so nervous, Oz? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. You're checking your this, equipment? You're checking yeah. Your equipment? Okay. It's not very good. 
<laughs> I'm not very ready for this. Uh, maybe you should go to another dungeon no, or something. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, elevator works. Abunai to koto shiru tame no aru da kara. All right. Purposely showing something adventurous. Everyone cheer him on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> cheer him on. <laughs> okay, here we go. You can do it. Going down. Are you sure this thing can hold all of us at the same time? All right, here we go. So this is my first time in the side quest on this save file. ここはね、開発メンバーが実際にある廃墟に行ってロケハンをして、そして作ったダンジョンなんだ。So this uh, Baluf Mines was actually based on a location, uh, an abandoned mine field or mine shaft that the development team actually went and surveyed themselves. So it's designed after a real life experience. And Haz actually went there too, so that's maybe why he's hesitant to go in there. Yeah, it's, it was very traumatic <laughs> going to a dark cave, a random one in somewhere in Japan. It was scary. It's very, very deep. This elevator goes down for quite a while. All the way to hell. Yeah. All right. You'd always take it down deeper. Bit of a shot in the. What dark, do you guys think? Keep going think? down or good out here? Down. All right. <laughs> you heard them, Haas. You got to keep going down. All right. <laughs> you guys going are all down. very brave, unlike Haas. Because here. they're not playing. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Don't move, Muri. Na hoko ni. It's getting uh, dangerous. Uh, keep going. <laughs> oh boy! I this like this crowd, Haas. I like this crowd. This is gonna be a very short presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and are we here? No. Nope. Uh, still go. Keep going. All right. All right. So, man, B four, my dad, you go. So, I think the next level is probably the lowest level. Okay, here we are. Uh, in hell. Yeah, very creepy atmosphere. Not bad. Shudder to think how far underground. So they're walking all cautiously. So yeah, that's how I feel. And we got some goblins already. How many of you played episode of the Sky? All right. You remember how creepy and nasty those goblins were? Uh, they're worse now. So <laughs> what's one thing that's worse about them now, Haas? The goblins? Yeah. Yeah, they actually steal your potions. Oh. And they will use the potions if their health is very low. <laughs> so not only are they ugly, they're very mean as well. Well, they they look quite nice actually. They don't look that ugly, I okay. guess. <laughs> so uh, they're attractive and really mean. <laughs> Whoa! So they always come out in hordes. So it's uh, kind of yeah. annoying. And they so, actually pack quite a quite a punch. Although they're level seven, but there are a lot of them. Yeah. So it's quite tough. Yeah. <laughs> So what weapons are you using? So now I'm using the uh, the two hand sword, uh -huh. the one hand sword, and also the javelin, as well as some um, daggers. Yeah. Yeah, these goblins are only level seven, but you can see how tough they are, right? So, uh, yeah. All right. Looks like we have a split path, left or right. Left. 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 Right, we're going right. Right. <laughs> if Tabby says so, if Tabby says so, we're going yep. that one. Yep. Okay, I sense something bad here. <laughs> don't don't be so jumpy, Hans. Okay, okay, I'll run then. Run oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so ugly. I mean, I tried it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> These little guys sure pack a punch. So what's effective against them? Like, you know, quicker weapons or... Well, you can actually... Let's see, for example. You can actually... I think using quicker weapons will be easier. Mm -hmm. Because if I were to use this weapon, like the two-hand sword, then it will take a long time to execute any attacks. Right. But it mm. is very powerful if you do land the attack. Yeah, exactly. So... <laughs> yeah, you got a pretty good weapon there, huh? Yeah, it's a fire, um, you know, enhanced blade of Brunner. Okay. Yep. So I have to get ready for this dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We shouldn't have told you uh, ahead of time where we're going. 
All right, let's see. We got here gold ore. Okay. Mm. Let's just move on. Now you're running. So yeah, you can actually see that there are various um, geographical features in the cave itself, and also obviously man-made structures as well. So the the, uh, the, the uh, abandoned site you went to does it look like this a lot? Yeah. yeah. Is it pretty close? Well, yeah. There there were some um, you know lakes within the cave as well. So. Wait yep. a minute, El elixir? Yep. In the beginning of the game. Uh huh. So <laughs> <laughs> that kind of shows you how uh, dangerous this place is, maybe. Yes. Okay. Hey, it's your guys' fault. Okay? You guys' fault. Okay? <laughs> You're um, here to show us a good time, Haz. <laughs> All right, I'll try my best. Oh, so many of them. <laughs> nice. Say your prayers. You're on fire today. No big deal. Yes. Time to say good night. So if it steals a potion from you, yep. Uh, does does, do they usually use it right away, or can you get it back from them if you defeat them? Well, if they haven't used it yet because maybe they are full health, mm. then you can get it. I see, I see. So when do they but run? even if you defeat them a bit of their HP, that's it. They're going to use they're their potion. Use yeah, they are that evil. So we have some ice elementals we can store, all right? Yep, mm. we can use this to Beautiful. make magic. Right. You've definitely prepared a little bit. You're full on ice now. Uh, haha, yeah, all right. <laughs> I have to. Uh, and there's a cutie over there that just shut the door on you, Huzz. Yeah, this is what you were saying, right? They were just evil buggers. They are. Closing doors on you. And it's locked. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go back up to B1 and make our way down? Right. We don't know what other doors they might close on us. Mm. Okay. We'll go the other way. Again, you know, different ge geological features in the level itself. Oh no, out of stamina. Wow. <laughs> so they like to hide in mining cars as well. Yep. Okay. Exactly. This is not a horror game, right? No. no. Alright. It can be called a horror action oh, game. Oh, there we go with the potion. Oh, <laughs> man. So evil. Potion for out of Nice parry. There, for taking my potion. <laughs> A plus for offense, let's ignore the C and D. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the goblins in this dungeon, they kind of hide in mining carts and pop out at you, and uh, they're just tricksters. Very, very annoying guys. Slightly cute, I guess. <laughs> if you have annoying. Haas's taste, then Friendship fans, an accessory? Yeah, that's All an right. accessory. Done here. All right, so we're going back up. Is Let's it? take the ride back to B1 and make okay. our way down. All right. So Tabata-san, uh, I mean Tabby. <laughs> uh, how, what? How do we? How do you design this cave? Wh wh what was the inspiration? This yeah. dungeon's inspiration. Hmm. Well, so like I said earlier, the 15th world is a different world from the earth and the sky. Concept. あの、地上はすごくスケールの大きい世界なんだけど、地下は本当ジメジメして暗くて狭くてどこまでも続くいやな世界っていう光と闇のコントラストをちゃんとつけてるっていう感じだよね。そう、コンセプトは。He so, touched on this a little earlier, but the contrast really from the outside world, the beautiful landscapes, the greenery, and then in contrast to that, the inside dungeon, the dark areas, the the moist areas, the never-ending dark hallways. We don't want to make sure we get both experience in this uh, fast game here. Even Final Fantasy, the dungeon was a bit of a bad dungeon. I thought it was 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 a bad In a lot of the, the Final Fantasies you guys have probably played, there were dungeons that you probably just didn't like, whether it was you didn't know what kind of enemies were going to come out, or you didn't know what was around the corner. We wanted to kind of draw inspiration for that and create dungeon experiences that are uh, catered to kind of what you're used to. So no yeah no dungeon omo zonbun fifteen de wajiwa tiko. Yeah de show. So uh what? you just got ran over by a renegade mining cart. Yeah, I'm I have trauma again. And there's more another one. Oh good job. Dodging. Whenever I see a mine cart. No one no. was on it though. No, yeah. Right. 
This one should be okay, so I'll just walk past Straight it. it. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> I knew it. You still think they're cute? No, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I'm angry now. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, the development team had a fun time designing dungeons that are going to give you like, a good time. Alright, so there's, oh, there's a lot of uh, goblins around here. So why don't we do his little magic spell? Alright. Hold on, yeah? I'm very busy at the moment. Maybe when there's the next horde, we'll... Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So let's get some fire and uh, make a little... Show us a little magic crafting 101. Okay, so just access the main menu and you will see this um, menu called magic. So here you can actually mix and match the various elements that you have collected in the world map. So for example, you have fire, ice, and lightning. Um, what kind of magic should I Which element create? should we use, guys? Lightning! <laughs> 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 mix. Why don't we make a hybrid? Mix, please. Hybrid, please. Hmm. All right. Fire. Fire and ice. Hito, hito. Yeah. Ah, yeah. All right. Fire and lightning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so even if you mix fire and lightning, you can you will still get Fira mm -hmm. down there. So what you have to do is you have to mix um, items as well. The cool thing is you can actually mix items and you can actually see the result at the bottom. So if I were to mix potion, I will create heal cast, which will cast fire on top of healing myself. So it's really, really cool. And there are many, many, um, you know, combinations to try. So... Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I will try quad cast, Farah and Thundera. So, okay, I can't even wrap my head around what that's going to be. What is that? So quad cast means that it will cast it four times. In one, in in one, one go, okay. sorry, in one go. Sorry. And times three means um, you have three charges of the magic. And so it casts can. both Fire and Thundara. Yes, that's right. That is insane, guys. So, okay, so I'm going to combine that with Beetle Shell and Craft. All right. And then it will uh, ask me whether I want to equip it or just store it in my inventory. So I will equip it right now. I will just um, equip, uh, unequip the daggers and put in Quadcast right. Fire Thundara. All right. <laughs> we'll see when we need it. Yeah. Now you're feeling all strong, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel better now. You know, you talk about this Yeah. So let's maybe there's a slightly wider open area in yep. here. With we'll a lot see. of goblins. So. Yeah, when you use uh, especially the, the raw spells in closed spaces, you actually do inflict damage on yourself because there's an area effect. So it's safer to use it in a wide open area, but we'll see what we can get. Whoa, I'm dying. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? You tell me. <laughs> okay, looking good, looking good. All right. A plus for offense again. Let's ignore the Ds. A, A plus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just move on. Uh, railroads. Not a good sign. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Creeped up on you. Bam. Good carrying. Carrying takes a little bit of practice to get down yeah. the timing, right? And it's much harder to time it well when you are using a, a big weapon, like the two-hand sword, because mm. the pairing timing might be different <laughs> while you're attacking. So let me just go through this really quick. Alright. Alright. Improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Double C, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay. There. Yep. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I knew it. <coughs> Just one lonely goblin, huh? Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me go back in. No, I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward. 
Okay. Four guys beating up on one poor goblin. I see. Oh, I'm back to double D again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Looks like we're in a slightly different looking area. That's weird. The uh, hell? Wait, is there? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, I'm not getting good vibes from him, Haas. Yeah, I'm not liking it either. Um, are we going forward or what? <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Okay. Oh man. Okay. I'm okay. ready. Oh, what? Oh, the? <laughs> and a goblin card. I see. That was that came out of nowhere. Oh, where do you go? Oh. Oh my God, my HP. <laughs> My HP! Heal, heal! <laughs> My HP! Oh god! Hey, oh god! Heal. One shot to me! Oh! <laughs> my home, my home. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So that guy just one shot you down to the third floor? Magic! Exactly. Magic! Magic. Okay, okay. alright, alright! Here we go! Woo! <laughs> so aside from magic, what else is uh, useful against these goblins? Okay, let's call um, Tempest from Gladius. Okay. So Gladio's Tempest move, what it does is it creates a whirlwind. Yep. So it sucks a lot of these scattered enemies into one pile and then just attacks them all at once. So it's useful in cases like this where you have a wide open field and a lot of enemies just scattered about. Yeah. And I can even use... Um, Big Mrs. Mark. Okay. So he will mark all these goblins with what points, and Noctis is just gonna move to all of them. Yep. That is and awesome. Mark, that is awesome. <laughs> and each of your allies have multiple of those yeah. abilities, so uh, there's different uses for different situations. Um, you guys will have a lot of fun with it. And don't don't misunderstand that wasn't Haas playing well. That was just the move that is awesome. So it's not Haas. <laughs> you guys will all play like that. So whether Haas is uh, good at this game or not will be the judge of it based on uh, the upcoming battle. Oh, yeah, that nope. dude that knocked us down, he's still around. Oh stop the pressure. <laughs> <coughs> still have a ways to go. Alright, you can see a ladder over there, so I think we can go down from here. We are at B3 now. We're on B3, so I guess we just have to make one more floor yeah, down. That's right. Uh -huh. But of course, <laughs> gotta fight some goblins. Okay. Let's use a spell. Use your uh, Fire F and Dara. Okay, sure. Here we go. Woo. Okay, okay. Okay, Gladio's getting electrocuted like there, and so is you knock this, and so <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> So, watch out where you use your magic spells. <laughs> it is real. Yeah, magic is very effective but also very dangerous if you don't use it in the right place. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Notice all the clothes are a little uh, ashy and burnt because of all the uh, <laughs> electrocution. Yep. Thanks to me. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's make our way down. Okay. Let's go down. Mm. Yeah. So uh, probably something lurking up ahead, right? Yep. And I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Be brave, Hans. We could do it. Okay. So let's open this door. And that was the door that was closed ah, upon me just now. Yep. I see. So let's just move forward. Alright. Alright. And... Yeah. Oh, I, I don't see like the it. long oh. katana. What you probably means... He, oh, he's Looks just like marching around right there. You're he's level 38, sword. man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's only 38, come on, you can do it. Tabby, Tabby come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, really? Ah, ita? Dekiru, dekiru. Ah, dekiru. Ah, you can do it, Haz. He says you can do it. In what, in what world? You practiced, right? You had enough time to practice. You okay, let's it. go yeah. attack the guy. Yes. Okay, go? Go? Alright, where is he now? There he is. You where can is do he? it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You can there do it. Go. Nah. Take him on, Haz. Take him on. You can do it. 
stupid goblins. <laughs> yeah, the goblins won't leave you alone either. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh. Stasis. So if you use too much MP. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Ignis. No. He just one shot at Ignis. Do you have any uh, ethers? Oh, Stasis again. Ooh, one shot. Oh man. Oh crap. You need health. Oh crap. Oh, oh. man. He just, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, Haz. But that is how dangerous this dungeon is. But you can go to it at the very beginning of the game. So those of you out there who want to challenge yourselves, go ahead and try. Otherwise, just maybe go back later. Uh, unlike Haz here. Yep. Mm. I was stupid. But brave. <laughs> Thank you, Haz. Everyone, give it up for Haz. <laughs> But that's not all we're going to show you today. Mm. How many of you like chocobo racing? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't know if you guys have a chance to stop by our booth, but we do have four chocobo uh, racing kiosks, so give it a try. Sure. All right, so we have three options here. We're gonna, we could race against Prompto, race against Gladio, or do chocobo hoops. Personally, I think he should race against Gladio from one macho man to another. Of course. Because <laughs> Haas is very, very macho. So, you guys cool with that? Yeah. Alright, let's race against Gladio. Okay. Oh. You got. I ain't holding back. Huh. Neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cheer for Gladio, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> when you lose. So the strategy for chocobo racing is managing your chocobo stamina. You could use dash to eat up some of your stamina, uh, but you have to be careful how you use it, or else you're gonna run out of steam towards the end. But you can drift to save up on stamina when you are, you know, going on a turn. Come on, Gladio. Where are you? Ah, Gladio is so slow. <laughs> Don't get cocky, huh? Don't get cocky. Oh, there he is. Come on. See ya. Okay, so I'm gonna take a shortcut. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, Gladio. You can do it. No! <laughs> Great shortcut, huh? Great shortcut. Darn it. The other trick is to just prevent him from going forward. <laughs> well, you can actually block no, his path. No, okay, no. <laughs> Not too shabby. Alright. Okay, there's a shortcut. This chocobo race, just to give you speed, it's not just about the stamina management. It's very important. Yeah, so it's not like you could just mash on the, the dash button and use up all your stamina. You're going to have to manage it throughout the course to make sure Last you use break. it at the right time. Uh, all right, all right. Give it up for us. He did it. Ma fast race, da kara ne. Kantan da ne. So that's just the first race. There are different uh, levels, and then you chocobo levels up too as you uh, ride them more. So. Yeah. Mm. Well, admittedly, that was quite easy. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, mm. So just as a reminder, uh, there is chocobo racing at the booth. There's four kiosks of that, and then there's um, what are you number? <coughs> Thirty-two. Um, 32 kiosks to play the main game. Um, so that's the majority of what we wanted to show to you today. But, um, so before we started the panel, I begged uh, Tabby um, to show us some new, Tabby. new content. <laughs> Tabby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so is that okay? Are we still able to show that? Okay. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah? Cool. All right, we'll sure. kick it back to you, Ryo and Haas. All right, Haas, you're up again. You're a busy man. Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. This is not an easy level to show, but I'll try my best. Okay, here I go. Yes, you go. Now, let's see you the 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 so what we're showing you now is a mission where you're infiltrating the enemy Niflheim army base. Mm. 
、まあ、さっきまでのモンスターと違って今度は機械が相手だねロボット So unlike the monsters、uh, that we fought in the first part of our、uh, panel, we're now fighting mechanical enemies. This is a Magitek armor right here that Haas is facing off against. Strategy is very different when you're dealing with mechanical enemies. So, あのうまく隙をついてピンポイントに攻撃を当てるとパーツを破壊していけるんだね。So mechanical enemies like this have different body parts、uh, that you can target specifically, and、uh, if you watch out for the right moment, you can target that and break it apart. So that's one way to fight against these、uh, big magic armors. で相手の戦力が弱くなってきたら機械に有効なサンダーの魔法を使うのが一番いい。And obviously, if you guys are familiar, mechanical enemies are weak to thunder. Haz,、うん、thunder, do you have a thunder spell?、Um, no, I forgot to get it. <laughs>、oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, <laughs>、uh, Stasis. Oh no. Haz just wants to show off his action skills. Okay, no, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Oh, Prompto. Prompto's dead. Yeah, so that's right. Nakamoto is going to be able to get the answer. Alright, turn around away. He got it. Oh, Kanta, you got it. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna complete the quest by、um, destroying this generator. That's our main quest here. I'm gonna put it on destruct. Some hacking skills. <laughs> And bam. Alright. Okay.、Mm. Yeah. Okay.、Mm. でそのままもうちょっとゲームを奥の方に進んでいってみてもらえるいいですかうん。Looks like we're gonna keep going, guys. Okay. <笑><笑> Alright, let's just reunite with Iris. And if you guys have. How many of you guys watch Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV?、Mm. Alright, episode 3: The、uh, Sword and Shield. Iris is Gladio's little sister in case. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <笑> So, if you guys don't know, this is RNA Highwind.、Uh